I've just been in the Alps. It was amazing. Check this out. <laughs> Here. So aye, and Smiley's up the street, so me, me and Yacht, me and Yacht Master are here, Smiley's up the street in a hotel and Chris is camping. So hopefully everyone will get set up shortly and we'll get the crack and see what's going on. We're here. We are. Look who's arrived. Good run? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, nice and warm, dry, lots of France. That bit of France was a bit dull. But, uh, now we're in Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Europe. We're in Luxembourg, <laughs> in Vianden. Beautiful. What do you think, Yacht Master? Might have to move here. Smelly? Lovely. Oh, Very nice. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Here in Vianden. That's good, it's good to get away. First proper trip, big trip, since uh, since I've been in hospital. Um so leaving like I've like, running up to the trip, like nervous as fuck, like real nerves, um like just really like really feeling weird. On the boat so last night on the boat and coming here, so the, the night before the boat I had a crap sleep, crap sleep on the boat and I've been feeling really homesick even before sort of leaving. Weird, don't know. But i a bit better now. Um, Chris is here, which is good. So there's four of us now. And tomorrow we head down to the Vosges, so it'll be like a bit more, you know, a bit more motorway work, uh, some nice roads and then we'll be at the start of the good stuff so looking forward to that and I'm sure sure that'll be much better and I guess as the trip goes on and you get more into it um, 
like you, you stop worrying about stuff and you start the, the you start getting used to being on on the trip and that's what you're used to then and you you don't miss home as much, uh, which is weird. I mean, it's just fucking a holiday, you know. It's it's weird because if you were going to be on holiday for a couple of weeks in a hotel and just swimming and chilling out, you probably wouldn't get the same things. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but you're away on the bike. Everything you, everything you've got is on the bike. Uh, you need to rely on yourself. You're camping. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm putting too much thought into it uh, because it's the first time I've been away properly since since I was ill. Who knows? As I say, it's, I've been I've done most of this route before. I've done it a good few times. Know what to expect, and it's going to be fucking good. Uh, but I just felt felt weird. Uh, felt weird at the start. But yeah, looking forward to tomorrow, and the weather's been amazing, and hopefully uh, uh, it stays good. Uh, and I'm I'm just hoping the guys all enjoy it as well because it's a uh, it's a good route. It's going to be good. Anyway, tomorrow, breakfast time. We're getting breakfast here. And then Chris, so me and Yachtmaster are in this, this hotel. This is Hotel Victor Hugo. I've stayed here before. It's pretty good uh, in Viandon. Smelly's up the road to another hotel. And Chris is on the campsite, which is about 15-20 minute, 15, 20 minutes walk outside the campsite, um, outside the town. So we're going to go probably meet Chris in the morning and then head out past the campsite and uh, and south to the Vosges. Morning, lemon. It's nice. Check it out. If you end in the morning, Chris's campsite's doing that street somewhere. Well, not somewhere, where it is, it's down there, near right the town. It smells amazing out there. It smells like pine trees, stuff cooking, and, and exhausts. I quite like exhausts. I've tossed some powers my way out of here. So this is Viandon, very very nice. It's already heating up though, it's 17 degrees. Which actually I thought it was much warmer than that. Just heading along to get Chris. So the plan for today is head to the Vosges. Now we could just go down and camp at an old. But I think we should push on a little bit further than that. Which would just give us an extra half an hour or whatever for the next game day which would give you a lot more sort of leeway to do more and uh, and then spend more time in louter running it's amazing how much half an hour gives you that's why I try I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a dick when I just ride off and everyone's sitting gabbing I mean you've only got so much time here you can sit and talk straight at the end of the day rather than when everyone's getting ready to go and you're sweating like a pregnant nun Sweating like Joseph Fritzl on Ground Force. No, Grand Designs. Fred West on Ground Force. Anyway, let's see if we can find Chris.
Det är bomma honom i. We stopped for lunch in Aldi. It was okay, give me some bread. And they were fucking off for a piss up the hills. York Master and uh, Smelly aren't here yet, so we've sent them a message. Hopefully, it all works. Fingers crossed. So, we're finally off the main roads, and this is on the little roads of the Vosges, so we're starting, starting to get into the hills, which is brilliant. We're in Le Brasse in the Vosges. Chris has found a campsite called Campin de Rambachamp. <laughs> so we're going to go there. Man, it is roasting, but we had a good run to the start of the Vosges. Tomorrow we'll be hitting through more of the Vosges, we'll do the Grand Ballon and uh, ride down into the Outer We could also do that World War One place as well, but we'll wait and see. Good run, the Chris. Chris's tent smells like piss as he put it away wet. I put mine away when Queen of St. Matthew and smelled like piss as well. Oh, right. So that's what it'll be. Or oh, your mat's been wet or something. It's like urine. Maybe you pissed yourself. Not you are. I never realised you were that as old as, or as young as you are. But maybe you're just getting old and you've pissed yourself. Maybe. Bound to happen one day. Is this the mat with the hole in it? Yeah. I bet it's a seam. I bet it's a seam. Well, I couldn't get any air out of it. So tell us about today, Chris. Today was good. Yeah, most, mostly kind of French motorways. But then the last, how far was it? 30k, something like that, 50k. But then the last sort of 50k or so was good. It was um, bright. So it's like 30 degrees, good tarmac, loads of like, I want to call it boreal forests. Not boreal, that's uh, Russian, isn't it? I don't know. Alpine forests is the word I'm looking for. It was good, yeah, it was beautiful. GS going strong. Best bike of the whole bunch, really. Uh, Look at it, it's magnificent. We even started this morning on the key. So that's a, that's a good thing for GSEs. After Ren's running fine. Uh, new tyres are good. Everything's good. I'm pumping it up, it'll be gone back down by the time I get on it. You've got a shite accordion. How has your day been, Yacht Master? It's been grand. Where have you been? What have you done? What's happened? Highs and lows? Getting getting to was it Arnold and not having anybody else there and having 35 degrees heat and uh, getting instructions that perhaps maybe had the wrong road number on it. Really? Yeah. It was the, it was the D7. D75? D7 D73? Uh, there was a 3 involved. It was D73. But it's a 20, rather than a 7. Oh no. We, oh yeah. We, we definitely went the D... So you go out of uh, out, uh, Nuld. Is it? I'm going to have to check. 
it was the 73. <laughs> Chris is having super noodles. Fucking you, bro. <laughs> Ready to wait for a pizza. Top box. Five, two, five. In good condition. That's smelly scene. Tomorrow in Lauterbrunnen we should have pleasant weather and it should all be good. But great night at uh, the wee cafe beside Camping Ramber Champ. Where are we? Uh, Ramber Champ. Gerard Mayer. Gerard Mayer? Uh, Gerard Mayer. Yeah. Gerard Mayer. But yeah, Camping Ramber Champ. Decent wee, very Camps. French campsite. It's good. Excellent. Chris is uh, Chris up to see in the campsite and well, he's masturbating because well, he's only 31, so he's probably got all that dirty water that he just can't help. We found out earlier, and I think he might be a necrophiliac. I think Chris is pointing at the graveyard. Yeah, touch of necrophilia going on. But I don't know him that well, I mean, by all means, he might be a necrophiliac. Uh, he was pointing at the graveyard and, like, I think, getting excited. So, so I just assume he's a necrophiliac. Got a few beers. Uh, hi, good night, as I said. At the, good night here. I can't remember what the place is called. Camp Hall. Camping. Rattle, huffle, buffle? Fuck knows. But now we're watching the MotoGP, um, the sprint race, and then go to sleep. I had a few beers, that's probably why I can't remember the name of the place. <sighs> nah. <sighs> Fuck knows. Genuinely don't know. MotoGP though. Anyway, tomorrow. Blur, Brian. Good night.